Hi ladies, it's Laurel from Forever Purple Creations and we have popped on over to my channel. Um, so we're going to wait a couple of minutes because I think a couple ladies are going to be joining us. I hope I put the right link in the the other video. Um, did it take you to, it, to yeah, it should have been the right one. So we should be okay. There she is. Hi Nadia. Not Nada. Now I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> Uh -huh. all screwed up all right let me uh get so i can see the video over here minimize the screen i don't know why i feel like i need to see it on there but in case i gotta add something oh come on make smaller move over I need to see both screens all right, and we're back at it where we were. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee this is going to be any better, but I know some people expect, always expect us to be on here on Wednesdays on the, when we do the live. So we'll see what happens in a few minutes. Are you there, Sierra? Yep, I'm okay. here. Oh, oh, you're awfully quiet. Oh, there's Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Peggy. Right. Yeah, because I know uh, Marlene was waiting to, wondering what time I was going to go on live tonight. So, and we'll just continue on. Now, don't stop talking, Sierra. <laughs> well, I'm just uh, putting my thing. All right, guys. So, I'm just kind of. I had to lift this up to put some lace in here, so it looks kind of funky at the moment, but I'm just kind of layering on different uh, bits and pieces from my big gigantic uh, mess that I have of my scraps. That's all in a bucket that I now have all dumped all over, so I'm just trying to find some pieces that I want to layer on here. Because, as we know, Laurel likes to... Uh, Make lots of layers on her tags. Hmm. Things that make you go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't know. And I'm using, of course, my uh, Fabri-Tac. I sewed on the first layer, which you can't even see, so it kind of makes no sense that I sewed it on. But it makes where's my other piece? When my oh, there it is. I don't know if I want this one over this one. No, I think I want this the other way. So, not that you'll be able to see it, but I know it's there. So I just like to put them on top of each other. Just making a mess. You're awfully quiet, Rose. I am concentrating. Okay. I am just checking. <laughs> and then I'm going to cover my back with, um. A, see, you can see my sewing, that weird stitch it was doing. It was doing all kinds of funky Hi, stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cover this with a paper or a napkin or a fabric. And then I'll probably put, like, I'll put a layer of lace on the back side too because I like when it um, comes through. I'm just trying to find some here, see what I can work with. Because, you know, we're always, always unprepared. Never the prepared one. I'm always the unprepared one. <laughs> You're too funny, Lorelli. I'm, I'm adding to my projects. Here's project 11 going in a basket. <laughs> I am going to try and spray this and see what it looks like. So we're going to have a little bit of fun here because I have some distressed spray stain. This one's called Antique Linen. That one's that. I love Antique Linen. linen. And these were, yeah. you know, of the big Tim Holtz buys that, you know, I managed to find at Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. This was one of the three. I have been to a, a couple other Hobby Lobbies and found a couple other things, but none of the things I was looking for. 
really looking for. So mm -hmm. um, let's move my tag. Sounds familiar. We're just we're just gonna spray that a little bit and rub it around just to give it a little color. An antique linen has got a weird color to it. I can tell you that. Supposed to be like creamy. No, not really. <laughs> really? It's like oh, it's kind of got a yellowish tint to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called antique linen. Oh, like okay, let's try adding use, another one over it. Let's it try adding some creamy, but it became antique. <laughs> so it turned yellowish. Ooh. Like peed on. Yeah. yeah. Let's try this with some water. Where's my water? There it is. Girl's not hearing me. That's why she's not yelling at me about why just then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to add some. Brown to it. Dropping all my snippets here. Oh no, don't do that. Don't oh. do that. For me? Yeah. My granddaughter's here, my loving granddaughter. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. She brought me a little gift. Aww. She, she brought you Valentine's Day gift. Oh, my son always gives me flowers. Aww. Sweet. Thank you, my dear. Mm. What a good son. Yes, he's a wonderful Not son. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful son. Uh, you too, Hubbard. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Hubbard. Oh. That sweet. was sweet. It is. Tell your husband he needs to take some points. Adding some color. Son. All around, guys. I'm kind of. I don't like wasting my stains and stuff. And this is just a play tag. I'm sure by the time I'm done, it'll look nice. But it had a little too much white going on in some spots. So I'm just adding this stain in different spots just to give it some color, along with my finger. <laughs> I can always add more. What was that you asked me, Sierra? I didn't ask you anything. Or you said something about my son. Oh, I said your husband should take some pointers from your son. Oh, <laughs> well, my remember my my husband gave me flowers earlier. Remember? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. Shame <laughs> on you, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> you should give oh, me more. Well, my, my husband, I make my husband promise he will not waste money on Valentine's Day. I. I think Valentine's Day is the biggest waste of money crock of poo in the world. And you know it's it's it. it's the day that when it is the day that people Spend buy the most ruthlessly. That's it's when they, they sell the most uh, stuffed animals. Really? Mm -hmm. I All just right. think it's not there we go. We'll add some more color to this. We'll just do some spraying and stuff later. I told my husband I threatened him. If you ever bought me anything on Valentine's Day, you're going to get it. Really? How oh, funny. Yeah, because Why? I think it's a waste of money on, like, I hate these artificial holidays that are just made for, like, stores to make money on because, you know, like, you want to say you love someone, just tell them you love someone. I well, you know what like they're called. They're not artificial holidays. They're called Hallmark holidays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, we've been together Hi, for Marlene. Like, you know, rows and there stuff. There she is. Hi, Marlene. How are you? And, Marlene, I haven't, I was waiting for you to come in tonight. I have not forgotten about you. Um, tomorrow when I get home. I will um, send you an email. First, I wanted to ask you if you have a regular Facebook that I can talk to you on, you know, like in Messenger. And if not, then I will email you tomorrow and we'll talk about getting together to uh, show you how to Hi, invite Angela. people and stuff. There's Angela. Angela, we I left you a message to see mm -hmm. if you wanted to come in. I know you are on live, but you are welcome if to I join us if you would like. Us. 
you can definitely come in and join us. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. I'm looking for my dressings right now. Can't seem to find what I'm looking for, but I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Typical Laurel. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a typical Laurel dropping things. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Like that's anything new. <laughs> All right. Loved the uh, glove box too, Marlene. Uh, Helen's a lucky girl to win that today. Yeah, Marlene is beautiful. Your work. Oh, you do have messenger. Okay. You'll have to. Uh, you can just so I don't want you to advertise your name out here. You can just look me up by my name, Laurel Nakutis, and you can send me a message, and then I can send you one. Hi, Angela. How are you? We are uh, playing with tags today. Oh, she probably needs a link if she's going to come in. Okay. I will send you a link, Angela. I just Angela have to find your email again. <laughs> oh, let's see what her email is. Although I can probably just, yeah, I'll just send it to you in Messenger. Hey, what happened? Guys, are you there? Hey. I'm there. All right, what's going on with my Google Hangouts here? Uh, oh, never mind. That was something else. All right, I will send you the link, Angela. Hold on. Copy. Go to Facebook. All right, I guess uh, let's click on Rose and see what she's doing while I'm doing this. Mm. I'm still doing. I'm still doing. Okay. All right, then. So here's part of it. It's part of what I'm doing. <laughs> it is kind of long. Oh, let's see. Let's measure it. Let's measure. Let's see. Computer is being uh, a grandma right now. It is one yard and one eighth of a yard long. One and one eighth of a yard long. Wow. So getting it done. I don't know. I'm just going to do layers and layers and layers. There you go. All right, take me right there. Layers and layers. There it is. Okay, here comes the link, Angela. Are you ready to catch it? <laughs> there you go. My computer quits playing grandma. I'll be right back, ladies. Okay. Okay, let's switch to Sierra and see what she's doing. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to go through, Angela, and my computer is being a grandma right now. So I'm doing the ruffle technique. Yes, uh, um, Marlene. She, uh, Rose is doing a snippet roll. Sorry, Sierra. Go I'm ahead. doing a, a ruffle technique, um, but I'm actually not using the sewing machine because it's going across my project. And I want the back to be presentable to be able to be written on and stuff. So I'm gluing this puppy down and I'll show you the ruffle. Oh my goodness. So I did another <clears throat> ruffle and I like how it's not straight. I like how it kind of just sets there. So Aww, that looks very nice. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Lorelli. All right, what is going on with my computer here? Tell her she keeps on pressing too many buttons. Say, stop pressing buttons for five seconds, Lorelli. I did. <clears throat> Tell her computer. Tell her. I don't know what I want to do. 
this. Don't know. All right, let's try refreshing the page and see if that helps. What are you doing, Shay? There's nothing in here for you. Um, Angela sent a message on the last one she was on. She's like, I'm on here. You hear me, Laurel? What? Angela sent a message on the last live she was on that says, I'm on here. She's on the is wrong. That, is she just a crafty girl? Because I keep uh, getting messages from someone that says, just a crafty girl. I'm on here. Yeah, that's her. Then. Oh, okay. So I can probably send her the link right to her Gmail then, right? Yeah. I don't think she can go on she because she uses her cell phone too. Yeah, that's so why I want to send it to her in a message. So you don't want to send it to her in a message, actually. Because remember there's no app or whatever. Well, that's how I always send it to her from Messenger. Oh, really? Yeah. She, mm. What is only on my life? phone? I have to get it if I since I'm using my cell phone, I have to get it through a call. It has to be like a ring a ding 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 a ling a ding a call. Ding a ling a ling a ding a ling a ling a ding. Well, maybe it's gonna work this time. Let's see. Enter. There we go. There you go, Angela. <laughs> that only took 800 hours. <laughs> All right, back to my tag. So let me see your tag now, Sierra. I haven't gotten to see it yet. The second one I'm making? The second one? You're already on the second one? I'm still on my first one. What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? You want to see this one I'm making right now or the first one I made? The one you're making right now, or the first one, whichever one you want to show me. So this is what I'm working on right now. I'm back. Welcome back. That looks pretty. I like that. And then the back, I didn't do. Hi, the Honda. She said, "Sierra, I love your project so far." Oh, thank you, Fonda. And here Laurel goes with, you know, expanding her tag outward because that's what I do best. Hey, she's uh, an you're not a contractor. You don't know how to keep them flat. They always have to start growing as these I'm working on gorgeous. them. gorgeous. Yes, they're beautiful. Mm -mm. They need a little flower. We need to add a pink flower. I think this needs some pink. I think it would you look good with some pink. Need. Let's pull this up. She's in need for the pink. Need some pink. I tell you, Laurel, we are so needy. Yes, we are needy. Very, I am very needy. Need for speed. So I went to Hobby Lobby for my sister today. Are you sure it was for your sister? Oh, yes. that's for my sister. I went to Hobby Lobby for my sister. She, <laughs> if anybody can tell me where to find a firefighter charm, either an axe or a helmet or anything that has to do with firefighters, I'd really appreciate firefighter, it. Firefighter, well, sister is looking for charms for firefighters. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I Sierra, will can you show your first tag again? I missed it. That's Fonda. She would like um, to see your first tag. I will look online. Well, she needs it like before then, but did you hear me? Oh, I'm, I'm talking to you about the firefighters. I know, but did you hear what I said? What? Fonda would like you to show the first <laughs> tag because she missed it. Oh. oh, here's my first tag. Aww. 
Okay, and then you turn it should around. Be coming in momentarily. And you can tuck something in the back of it. I'm just waiting on my glue gun because, you know, I didn't have it plugged in and ready to go because I'm never I'm prepared. Actually, I'm never uh, prepared. Prepared. That's a new word. Prepared. I actually have a whole bunch of junk journal kits that I'm coming out with and like probably tomorrow. That looks tomorrow. awesome. Yeah, see, I can't do that. Well, I could if once I put the fabric on, but do you see the back of mine? It's a cereal box. <laughs> well, why don't you turn it around? That's what mine is, too. Well, because it was showing through my fabric, so I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to cover it with paper. Oh, thank you, uh, Marlene. So anyway, back to my story. Um, I just heard a ping somewhere. Someone got a ping. I don't think it was me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making a whole bunch of these kits for junk journaling. So, like, got it. It's just me. I'm lost in Google land. Haha, <laughs> weird. Like, I'm live but alone. Okay, you're in the wrong one. Let me try this again. <laughs> she says she's there, but she's lost. <laughs> Google she's land. alive, but she's alone. That's weird. I sent her the link that we're in. How can that happen? It happens. All right, it Angela, I'm going to gonna send it again. Uh, see if you see one that says Laurel, Sierra, and Rose. And click on that one. You'll see because it'll have a green camera that's lit up. All right, I'm sending it again. So hold on. Get out of the other one and try that and let me know what happens. <laughs> can you toss me the link? Yep, just did. She's like rolling on the floor laughing. I might be live in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angela. Oh, you didn't you didn't miss much, Nada. We're still working on our tag. Sierra's already on her second tag. I'm still on my first tag. Cause and, I'm I'm on on my and I'm on my third layer. I'm waiting for my glue gun. Hello. There Hello. she is. Hi, Angela. Yay. Hi, Miss Angela. Oh, I was alone on Google Live, and I could have been in Greece. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all yeah. my fault. It is all my fault, always. Anyway, uh, so let me try and get back to this Hobby Lobby story again. Oh, my so, word, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're okay. So I went to Hobby Lobby looking for a charm for my sister. And lo and behold, it's a Hobby Lobby I haven't been to yet. And the first thing I asked the guy, and it's like you're asking them to hand you over a million dollars. I'm like, have you had your inventory yet? And it, I, you would think I was speaking in Greek because he just stood there for like 15 seconds staring at me. It's not called inventory. Like, have you had your... Um, no, you no they like have their inventory and they do their markdowns. So I'm like, have you had your inventory and he waits and waits and waits. And then he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> I found a couple of things that I didn't have. Um, a couple of them were missing parts. But, of course, I went there and did a bunch of happy mail shopping. Because, you know, stuff all Aww. over the store, clearance, you know, everywhere. And you really have to walk the store to find it all. So, that, so I told my sister I cannot go to any more stores looking for charms for her today. <laughs> So Laurel Fonda says he's a boy. That's why. <laughs> who, who the boy? I want to get to Hobby Lobby. Hi, yeah, Joy. Exactly. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Yes, Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Yeah. All right. I'm still waiting on my glue gun. There it is. There she be. There. I want to see if I can burn my fingers, which I'm already doing. Are you gonna? What are ladies working on? Oh, sorry, Sierra. What? I'm sorry. I'm lagging like a dragon. I didn't mean to. We're talking. Hi, Joyce. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, roses too. It's kind of funny though, because uh, she says <laughs> she she says things what? after we've already said them. <laughs> she says I'm it about why I'm a after, I, after we after we after we say it because she just sees it then. 
<laughs> I'll be with you, Rose. I say it. Like, so what was your I, question? I do that because I want to make sure I'm just confirming. It's not a bad. Oh, like it's that. not a bad thing. I'm just, no, not it. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're just Ouch, confirming. That was hot. That was hot. Yes. Confirm. So, Sierra, what are you making? The term. I'm making my I'm making junk journal kits and I'm just working on my tags for the kids that I'm doing. Oh. Joyce has us on her TV again. Oh okay. no, I don't know why you'd want us that big, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. But, <laughs> but you you do you, hun. So what were you doing before, Angela? I know you were on live. What were you doing? Um, do you really want me to destroy your live? Oh. <laughs> Were you crafting? Okay. Oh, look what you found me. If anybody peeks in. Hi, how are you I, doing? Um, how was your birthday trip? I bet you didn't want to come home. Yeah, we were on my channel, and there was seriously like only like one person there, and then we go to Laurel's channel, and everybody's <laughs> here. I think that's just because they're used to it being Bye. here, Rose. What, yeah, Sierra? They're just used to <laughs> it being here. Well, I was like, do you want to go in your town? And you're like, we can go in Well, your I wasn't town. home yet. Well, I don't want to hog here. the spotlight here, you know. Oh, I told you I don't care, though, because I already made, I make a bunch of different videos. Yeah. All right. I want to add oh, pink, but I think that's out. too pink for now, so. We'll have to find well, another flower. Yeah, what happened on your, your life? Question, Lorel. Excuse I, me. Um, I can't. I, I to answer your question, I came up with a new way to dye paper for my junk journal. Oh. oh yeah. And was it successful and or not? <laughs> very successful, but if I tell anybody, I got made fun of, and that's okay. No, you got made fun of. Fun. Very, it, it, oh, it was funny. It, it was very worthy of being made fun of. <laughs> yeah. Um, prune juice. Oh, you yeah. know what? I would not make fun of you because I take the blueberry juice and stuff from work from in all the fruit. Yeah. And I want to try it one of these times. I bring it home, then I forget about it. But I'm telling you, I, I want to try like the Have you guys ever use beets? And... Beets works really well, too. Yeah, I, they, they weren't making fun of me like in a mean way. It was funny, and I was cracking jokes at myself, you know. Yeah. Really? But my daughter cleaned out our refrigerator, and it was shoved in the back, and she was headed to the trash. And I said, "Ooh, no, wait!" <laughs> <laughs> all right, why not? Got to try something new all the time, right? So anyway, that's good. That's <clears throat> always good. You know, there's this one lady on here. She did like Tabasco sauce and like oh, all wow. this weird stuff, like um, all these different like condiments and stuff. Lee says to tell you she will wow. jump. She will jump on your live next time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna go live again. And Joy says, Sierra, I was watching. You made a lace tag. Beautiful. <laughs> and Nada says it's good to try new things, new ideas. Yes, it is. Oh, we're just making tags today, Lee. Because Laurel needs to add number 11 to her unfinished projects list. <laughs> no, we're making tags because um, we need to make something different and if we just kept on doing what Laurel was still working on, we'd be doing the same episode <laughs> for like a year. And... That's not very nice. Rose, tell her she's not being nice. <laughs> You're the one. You, you make Yara. it a joke. Yara, you need to behave, honey. You're the one who makes it a joke that you take so long. But I'm not I allowed do, to I take forever make too. a joke that it takes too long. It does it. Oh, oh, what's that? It does take me forever. I can't she help that. Joke, but then I can't joke back. It's not fair. It's just not fair, ladies. 
Does she do that on your channel? Oh. <laughs> Joke with me? Yeah, tease you like that. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Miss Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. How are you? Hi, How's everybody's Judy. Valentine's Day going so far? Mine is just wonderful because it's a uh, non-man Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girly a girl Valentine's Day. Okay. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nope. So are you working on anything right now, Angela? Um, my proof. Oh, juice. that's great, Judy. <laughs> Don't forget to post pictures. What'd she make? What'd she make? She's working on, on the uh, the kit, the flip box. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah, guys. So um, Rose has two snippet roll kits left. That's it. Better grab it can't wait to get mine i'm so excited i know that's why we were waiting till next week to do them because we wanted to wait until um everybody got their kits it's in the mail Aww. angela Woo! yay yep oh sweetie you guys <laughs> all right i need a scissors i'm gonna Ooh, end up with a vintage photo this. all over my yes. lips uh oh so your lips pumpkin pie <laughs> So, Angela, what are you doing right now? You're just um, dyeing stuff? Yeah, I'm dyeing some things, and then um, I want to get back to making ephemera for the junk journals. Yeah. So I really like I know, so maybe You know, I know, Angela, how you stay up late at night, and, like, when I'm up, I'm, like, always trying to, like, get a hold of you. and I'm so but... unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't look at your Facebook and I'm like Angela, give me your phone. She number. tells everybody she doesn't go on Facebook, she's on Messenger. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's I... on Messenger. So I'm right. like, Angela, because I'm like, um I get your message. I'm always thinking later. like she must be up. <laughs> I'm like, she I know she's up crafting right now, and because I can't find anyone else to craft with me, and I'm like, I really want to get a hold of her. So I'm like, so I like sent her my phone number. I'm like you, I'm you gonna did? give you my phone number so you can text me, so we can text at least, so I we can know get if that. Uh, yeah, that's okay, oh, Angela. What? The other day after you sent me the message saying sorry you fell asleep, I sent you a message back uh -huh. that said no big deal. You look like you needed sleep. It's quite all right, and I never <laughs> hit send. Because <laughs> oh, when I just messaged you, it was still sitting there. Because <laughs> I'm just a big dork. <laughs> Um, Sierra, I did not get it. Send it to me again. Oh, yeah. And I'll give you mine. No. Okay. But I'll put doesn't it. mean I didn't miss it. I can be very, I mean, it literally around here, it's 24 7, like hospital type schedule. So it every night varies. But yeah, I'm usually up pretty late. Yeah, me too. And. Morale? I, just have, I don't know what's been going on, but I've been having, like, insomnia. Are you there? Oh, I'm having happy Valentine's Day with your hobby, Lee. Oh, no worries. You're fine, yes. girl. Enjoy yourself. Have a happy Valentine's yes. Day. Yes, have a happy Valentine's Day, Day. Have a nice one. So your hubby works late? Is that what you were saying? No, well, he's working day shift now, but he was working night shift. But, um, oh, okay. yeah, when he was on night shift, like, he switches too many, <laughs> too, his shifts too often, and then it takes me a while to get used, because I can't usually. Right. So I was before waiting up for him, and now, like, he's home, and he's sleeping by, like, ah! 8, 9 o'clock. What happened? I just don't put oh nothing. Laurel just dropped something as always. Oh my. <laughs> oh. But um yeah, well, I sent you my phone number on Messenger. If you're I don't know if you're able to look or I can just give it to you after yeah. we end this too. Okay, that's fine. I might not have scrolled up far enough, but I thought I scrolled through your messages. But hey, I probably missed it. No one me. You grab them. I Knowing just thought it would me. be fun to dump buttons all over the floor. That's all. Tiara? Oh. Yes, 
Sierra, I did see you making rolled roses, so you have to. Uh, she's she's <laughs> UT. I don't know what that means. Have uh, have to something on on the. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> have to touch on the. Have no idea what. We it have is. a tutorial on that. I have no idea what it is. Oh wow! Tutorial on what? On the you're talking about the crocheted roses? Because yeah, that's a that's. Oh, a sending tutorial. prayers, Michelle. Yes. Oh, prayers. sorry, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. Yes, yeah, Sierra's roses were awesome. She wants to know if you have a tutorial on something. I just don't know what. Well, I have a tutorial on the crochet rolled roses. Okay, that's what I think she was asking is what the tutorial is for. If you're talking about the ribbon rolled roses, then um, I'm not sure if there's a tutorial on those or not. I'll have to. I think there's something yeah. up on those, but. I don't know. That's a lot of patience. I have patience for some things. And when you were counting the links on where to go back, I'm like, oh, yo, just tell me how much. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Aww. laughs> no, but That's I was surprised because I, because Laura always tells me like that I am not, well, she, she doesn't say it in a bad way or anything, but she says that. You know, I go too fast. I'm not super awesome at teaching things, you know, especially like crochet because I'm just like too fast, mm -hmm. you know, cause I'm always trying to like, hurry through it. And so I was surprised that everybody's like, your voice was clear because I'm like, I'm really sorry, guys. I hope that this like helps you. And everybody was like, really like said that it worked good. Oh, for them, so. she's talking about where you use fabric. It okay, works so I well. See that one. It worked so well, Sierra, that I learned how to crochet. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> no. Oh, it's just rose. I You're a you. fibber. No, but it, it. I mean, you do. I tell you always. You always do well with your. I think so. I try. I try. You did so really hard. good, Sierra. I thought you but, did well. Thank you. But yeah, I think it went okay, and hopefully somebody learned something from it. I know I learned that I suck at crocheting when I'm going slow. <laughs> And then as soon as I speed up, I'm fine. And then whenever I slow down to, like, show anyone something, I'm, like, hooking my needle on, like, a bunch of threads they're not supposed to. And Isn't God, that the truth? I really suck when I'm it, going slow. You guys I hear all that barking? It's just my, you know, the annoying devil dog downstairs. It's just yes, dying. I'll ignore him. The no hug. dog is too no cute. Hugs. I know he looks all sweet and innocent and cute, but he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you were just telling me that he was, I was mean because I said he looked like Chewbacca. Oh, because <laughs> he is cute. So he, he I know cute. he doesn't look like Chewbacca. He is he very is cute. cute. He's like a fuzzy, wuzzy man. <laughs> Ouch. That was hot. Ouch. Ouchy yeah. poo. Hi Jody. Hi Jody. Hi, Jody. How are you? We loved your crocheting tutorial, Sierra. Hi, Hi Deborah. Deborah. Okay. So Jody, hun, you're asking for me to do like a rolled ribbon, rolled rose one now. You want me to do the ribbon rolled rose tutorial? That would so be cool. I would love her. to see that. Just let me know what you need. PM me. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Happy Valentine's. Hi, guys. I was in a hurry on Instagram earlier. I need to go back and finish tagging my wonderful friends. But um, I started giving shout outs to all you lovely ladies on Tim Holtz's Instagram today. <laughs> Aww, <Tim Holtz>. you. <laughs> like, oh, I better ask first. Oh. Yeah, I gotta start posting Tim. my stuff. I get I get so busy I forget. And I do have a couple I things know. to post. I actually actually can Me actually too. subtract a project off because I did finish both my chunky charms. Hooray! 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 
All right. So there's my first tag. Would you guys like to see it? No. Yes. No. I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Here's my it. first one. Okay, Miss Judy yes. said yes out of ribbon and fabric. Let's see, let's On the flip book, you did a fabric one out of the scrap fabric. Mm -hmm. I oh, think I'm just pretty. Spritz it a little bit. Make this side a little darker. Oh, oh that wow. is. You'll need to dangle oh, down wow. here, but I like it. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. She's so got Judy to make some bling uh -huh. here and some bling here. So it needs a button here and a button here. And then it's good to go. Fabulous. Let's see. And what did you just Judy start that tonight? Yes, out of ribbon. What? Did Judy saying yes, out of ribbon? Tonight? Oh, sorry. Start what tonight? Sorry, Rose. That's okay. Go right ahead. So okay, Judy is saying yes, out of ribbon and fabric. Yeah. I, I On the flip book, you did a fabric one out of the scrap fabric. Flip book. Uh, All right, you know, I know this piece looks really dark and this side looks really dark. I think she but means it really isn't off. lady. It's just ladies, it's just my lighting. I don't know why in the on the video it looks oh, so super dark okay. on one side, but it's really not. So I think I'm gonna kind of darken up this side a little bit to even it out, but it's really not that dark. So I don't know why it looks lighting so dark. Lighting has a way to do that. But yeah, that's my first it's one. What? Wow. See, you're not yeah. slow. I mean, that's beautiful. And oh, thank you. Five. Yeah, well, these these are easy. I can whip through these. It just depends on how much I want to put on them. Right. True. I have a problem stopping once I get started. So we're gonna try you another know, one I here. Like to... So Angela, what were you saying about want to start tonight? She asked me um, if I started I was... that tag tonight. Um, no, yes. not that. Yeah. This is before she has something else. Oh. This is before they were even talking about the tag. Oh, I forgot Fonda, already. There is a lady on um, Luscious I'll, I'll Laces on YouTube. She sells gorgeous napkins. She's not in the U.S., but they usually come pretty quick. And she has beautiful napkins you can choose from. Ooh. Doesn't have a Tuesday morning where she lives? Yeah, she doesn't have a Tuesday morning. I know, oh. me neither. So, yeah. Um, Sierra. But it's called Luscious Luscious Laces. And if you go into her photos, she at the beginning, she shows a video on how to follow and go to look for the things that she sells. But she does sell napkins because I bought some from her. Her name's um, Annette James. Yes, Annette James. Sarah, you don't have a Tuesday morning? No. Oh. All right. Uh, Marlene, here, I know the girls were talking earlier today. And they were telling you to use Victorian velvet. And that oh, that's what this is. And it Hi, is one of my favorite stains to use. Yes, Rose and Sierra. I use this one all Hi, the time. Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Oh. Miss Millie's in the house. Hi, Mimi. How are you? Hi, You're Mimi. welcome, Fonda. Yeah, it's a beautiful tag. Yeah, Jody, I buy um, laces and stuff from her and seam binding, and she has these little color kits of different fabrics and trims and stuff. I, I bought some of those from her also. So, yeah, See, Sierra, all, I, put, I can also try to send you some napkins too. When so I put the blue side up, when I put, I need a different fabric because see how the tag shows through the paper? Yeah, it shows through mine too, but it doesn't matter because I'm piling enough right on top oh, of it. All right. I guess so. I guess that makes sense. See it. I'm just piling so much stuff on there. It doesn't really matter. Nadia doesn't even have a dollar store. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. That's no fun. So you're That's just dying your stuff though. You're not you're just sitting there watching it die or what? Well Kind of. I'm just kind of soaking it and then moving it over here to another pan that I have sent beside me. And then when I'm done with this little pile, then I'll put that up. And because this stuff is pretty dark. And it's is it turning it purple? Sort of, uh, it turning brown. Purple? <laughs> I can make it brown? purple. Uh huh. Oh, I thought and... prune juice is purple. 
for some reason. Yeah, well, it's from the grapes, which turn oh. into, right, isn't it? Yeah, it's from prunes, grapes. Yeah. Grapes, yeah. Yeah, that it's prunes brown. would be purple. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this much, y'all. Um, I hate prune juice. And um, if you put this in your body, you're crazy because it is making beautiful paper. <laughs> it doesn't belong in your intestines. <laughs> I I agree with you, Angela. I don't like it myself. <laughs> you use a lot of um, fruit juices to dye paper. It really does give it a beautiful um, color. Um, okay. Marlene, where are you at? What state are you in? I know you're not far. Oh, Michigan. Yeah. Do they have a, do you have, um, you have Hobby Lobby and all those stores in Michigan, right? In some parts, I know they do. Mimi kind of likes prune juice, Angela. I like prune juice. You like prune juice? Yeah. Well, congratulations. I admire you. It's very good for you. I, yeah, I, I've been in the hospital one too many times, I think, so, you know. Prune juice gives you like, cramps. Can I get something else? I'm sorry, prune juice gives you what? Cramps. cramps. <laughs> prune cramps. juice gives you cramps. <laughs> prune juice gives you the runs, and we don't want to take it poor does. girls. To oh, there. <laughs> you know, I meant prunes. Oh, Not prunes, oh. plums, plums. Plums. Oh, plums, yeah, plums okay. give me cramps. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, because I love plums. <laughs> I love plums too. Oh, I wonder what that color would be on paper. Huh. All right, I don't like that, so I'm going to cover mine because that's. Did you see? Me. You know what I've seen? There's this video that keeps on popping up on my feed on my YouTube. And it's this guy who sat in Coca-Cola for. Um, 24 hours and it turned in a bathtub. He filled the bathtub up full of coke oh, no. and sat in it for 24 hours and his whole body turns brown. It stains his skin. Isn't oh, of course gross? it does. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. Gross? That's why I know that I'm brown on the inside. <laughs> From all the prune juice and coke. Hi, Leticia. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Leticia. He says Happy she finally made a made a, a live show. <laughs> Yay! From Colorado. We tried. So when I came hard. in, I heard uh, Sierra in a very deep discussion. What? What did I miss? So something what do you about think? commercializing something. Hmm. Sierra, you were talking about commercialized something, loving people. Oh, we talking about today? Valentine. Oh, okay. Oh, that yeah. Official. Yeah, I don't like the holiday oh. because they just use it to sell stuff and make money off of people. And I won't, I, I will wring I my agree. husband's neck if he buys me anything on Valentine's Day because I don't like, I don't like that they get money out of people just for them to. Mm -hmm. Say they showed their love or whatever. That's that's right. with everything you depressed. buy though on every holiday, Sierra. I don't. True. I don't oh, know. that's true. But I just yeah. feel really, really against Valentine's Day for some reason. Uh, Mimi, just, what my daughter? That's one. Of, she applied. One of the college she applied to is in Tennessee. Tennessee, go Vols! I used to live in Tennessee. Vols. That's the um, university there. That's the name of their. How do you know team? that? How do you know? Because I used to live there. Oh. <laughs> Sierra so knows me all the time. <laughs> what? Well, how's that know you? I, I just worked, asked the question. I worked at the University of Tennessee Hospital as well, and I was actually oh. going to go to the uh, pre med program there. So I got some so history with happened? Tennessee. What happened was, is I got a call when I was working night shift and for my husband who said our youngest daughter had taken her first steps and I missed it. 
Oh, that was it. I was raised in a single parent home and I don't know, that just did something to me. And I said, you know what? My kids come before my career. And That's true. I said, nope, and walked away. And you know what? I don't regret it. She's graduating high school this May. And I, I, I don't regret it. Yeah. Good. Yay. So, oh, I cried and I cried. But I love medicine. I mean, I just, that was my career. That's all I did. But we went a different path and we did okay. That's good. Yeah. My, da my daughter loves medicine too, ever since she was four. Okay. Yeah. It's me too. And my daughter has the brains for, um, hi, L Lacey. How are you? She has the brains hey, for, Lacey. um, medicine because oh, she's been you, in the Amy. academy since junior high and she wants uh -huh. to go be uh, i can't even say it oh uh, uh, a vet a, a horse, horse she wants to go into horse rehabilitation she wants to be a horse whisperer <laughs> so vet specialist let's give it a classy name or not a classy it is classy let's give wants it to be a, a horse whisperer no. there you go a horse whisperer <laughs> I like oh, that awesome, name. Why Josie. don't you like that name? A what horse name? Very important. Well, it doesn't just it's deal with that. Whisper. It deals with their nutrition and their I know, training. but right. and horse whisperer. I like that name, horse whisperer. Well, so do I. That's I a great movie, by you. the way. Have you ever seen the movie? Uh, no, I oh, just no, I didn't know there was heard that. of the dog whisperer. Oh, well, that's that's Caesar Caesar Milan. Yeah. I'm talking about The Horse Whisperer is a great movie with uh, uh, Robert Redford. Hi, All right, now I feel better. Oh, it's still showing. Darn it. I slid it up too far. Yeah, Miss Jody, I started out straight out the gate in the medical field, and it was, oh, I loved it. I was on the SWAT team, and... You know, you get all that adrenaline rush, and oh, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Saving yeah. people. I used to, I, that was my goal, was to always work in the medical field, but then sometimes you just gotta give up your dreams. Yep, I got sidetracked, too. Now I am in the medical field. I'm in the patient part. <laughs> exactly. I told the guys at the ER the other day, I said, um, well, the doctor, he, my EKG, and I'm like, hey, yo, get that back. I want to see it. Oh, Mimi, me. my daughter has been riding since she was two. She is just a natural around horses. She just loves animals, period. Mm, that's awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Angela. No, no, you're fine. So you want her to do something else? Is that what you... Um, I want her to use that brain she was born with. Right. I want her to do something she loves, and she just refuses to sit behind a desk. But I don't want to have to worry about her. I want her yeah. to, you know, be able to take care of herself. And, you know, this world is not getting easier, you know. No, you're right. Rose so, disappeared. Like, and uh -oh. why are we on me, Laurel? Because you were doing something. I can switch to me. I'm just playing with cardboard. <laughs> I'm almost done to where I can... Take a turn. Um, so, yeah, I keep talking to her every day. I'm like, why don't you go into engineering? Why don't you go into, you know, yeah, programming? Yeah. You know, computers mm -hmm. are the way of the world. They're going to be around forever, you know. And she's like, but it's so boring. I'm like, how do you know it's boring? You haven't done it. But she does. She just does mm -hmm. not want to sit mm -hmm. at a desk. And I'm I like, oh, you what? you're making me well, crazy, became... child. Well, like she could become a surgeon, you know, no, she be won't exciting. be a surgeon and she won't be a vet because she doesn't want to operate on animals. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. And she doesn't want animals to die and she doesn't want to be the cause of them dying. And all right, Mimi, have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Good night, Mimi. Yep. That's exactly right, Jody. That's, this is what she's passionate about and what she wants to do. Yeah. She wants to be out in the field. So she'll be living, you know, in a barn because she'll be so poor. 
Mm -hmm. Hi, ladies. What happened? What happened, Rose? Have you? I don't know. My connection just went bye bye. Yes. Came back. Is it raining? Came back. Okay. I just can't get to. Let's see the chat. Uh, Welcome back. Thank Welcome you. Back. No, I, no, I need to get to the chat. <laughs> <laughs> No shot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Look at, look at my hands, guys, from using my hands. For what? <laughs> Don't your hands always look like that? They what? always look orange. See how orange they look? Look at that. I don't know why. You've been eating Cheetos? No, I don't know why they look like that. <laughs> well, these that's what are we should call her. We should call her Cheeto <laughs> fingers. <laughs> okay, that's what Angie is, right? Crusty yeah, that's funny. Cheeto fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that. Funny. I have no chat, ladies. Uh oh. Um, you have no chat. Uh oh. Did you reboot? Rose has no chat. Uh oh. So we're all in trouble. Like We can't do it without Rose. I can see the chat, Rose. It's okay. Don't panic. Yes, it says. Jody says, it's okay. She will be happy. That's all that counts. That's Looks right. Like iodine. Nadia says, wow. Deb says, well, they have a equine therapy place up here. And my grandsons went to that. Always needs help. LOL. Where's that at, Deborah? Leticia Lightfoot. That's what she wants said, to do. I would love to work in any field that has to do with animals. I rescued all of my fur babies and farm animals. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Cam would rescue all the animals and bring them here too if she could, but that's just not possible. Yeah. Uh, Fonda also has lots of fur babies and farm animals. And <laughs> Nadia, stuff. she says, what are you eating that you're not sharing? <laughs> my daughter just goes and helps out at like... Uh, mm -hmm. The horse sanctuary, and she go. She will, helps out at a couple dog uh, husky rescue, and um, wow. then she goes to house visits, and they go on photo shoots, and she goes to training. And Texas, you're in Texas. Yeah, I don't know if she found anything in Texas. Uh oh, what's who eating that they're not sharing? Rose is Rose no, eating? I'm not eating anything. I think they're talking about you with your Cheeto hand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not eating no Cheetos. No Cheetos. No Cheetos. I'm not tonight, eating ladies. no stinking Cheetos. No stinking Cheetos. No stinking Cheetos. All right. Let's lay down your lace first this time, Laurel. Let's not screw it up. Let's do it right. Screw it up. Screw it up. Let's not screw your it up. Your other tag looked wonderful. Because I just pulled something out somewhere and I don't know where I laid it down. Let's try this one. Oh my word. Fonda has 52 critters. Yes. Wowzers. She has a, like a barn or something. Or... A, a farm? Like a farm? Yeah, a farm. Farm. Yeah, it sounded like you said she has a barn. You did say barn. That's what I thought. I did that's, say that. That's why I said farm. <laughs> but I was thinking a barn in her backyard, and I don't know why I thought that. I'm dumb. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking yeah, domestic. I, I live in the city. You should not dislike think. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> no brandy. Brandy's no here? Brandy, no Angie. Nope, no oh. Brandy, no Angie. Well, Angie was away in the mountains on a romantic trip last live I seen her in. Oh, still? She was there on the weekend. I don't know. Yeah, was, she's um, going to be there this whole week. Sandra's oh. live. Michelle was in there and um, she left, said their hubby wanted to go on a romantic drive in the mountains. Blue sky <laughs> Equine therapy. That's awesome. I'll have to have her check it out. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, Fonda. 11 acres. Yeah, that must be nice. Many barns. 
I don't know. I don't want to want to let it finagre. That seems like a little bit too much. She's like she does chores. It seems like from when she wakes up till early. But that's what she likes to do. And then she goes to work as a nurse too. Oh, okay. Seems like a lot of work to me. Or no, she's a physical therapist or something. I'm sorry, Fonda, I forgot what I think. I think she's a physical therapist. I don't see the 11 acre comment. I must be with Rose. I'm lagging like a dragon. Bonus, it's awesome. How's yours chicken going chicken over there, foods. Rose? What's that? How's yours going over there? Going good. Okay. I'm oh, on the Wanda third layer. I'm on the third team. layer. <laughs> Should we click on you yeah, and Rose? The Tory therapist, 36 sure. years. So. All right. Yes, I'm so sorry, Fauna. I keep on forgetting. She's a respiratory therapist. That's what Fauna does. So, can you see? Good? Yeah. Hold on one sec. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. Don't show it respiratory yet. Respiratory therapists are amazing. All right. We're on you now. Back up just a little bit. There you go. Okay. So, so here's the, the, the uh, bobbin. The long stick, it's those vintage um, bobbins. And then here it goes. Here it goes. Very pretty. Aww. There she is. And you're just using a hot glue gun, Rose? I'm using just hot glue gun, uh huh. How Very long pretty. is that thing, Rose? It's it's one and one eighth of a yard. I mean, oh, one yard and one eighth. That is going to be one mighty big uh, uh, snippet roll there. It's not, it's not a real like oh, a real wow. snippet roll. It's one of those I'm, ones that she's going to use for him. Uh, Sorry, yeah, all, uh, what I'm doing is I'm using all my scraps and just um, gluing on all the you know different pieces of uh, of the scraps. That's what I need and I I will be cutting it, like when I want to use it as an embellishment, I'll cut a piece. Okay. Fr oh, from yeah. it until it's all gone. Fonda says it's gorgeous. Oh, thank Nada you. Nada says beautiful, so shabby. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you, thank you. And so this is how it look. It's gonna look when it's all rolled up. See? Wow. That is awesome. That is. I love this this uh, bobbin here. I like it. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some more layers work. on it. More layers, more layers, more layers, more layers. So uh, I'm going focus. back to the beginning. I'm going back to the beginning and start over. There you go. So, Miss Judy said, so the idea is to snip off what you need when you need it. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> Leticia says, what are y'all making? We're all making tags right now. Well, we're making tags and Rose is making a snippet roll. And, and Angela is dying, dying fabric <laughs> right now. He's doing paper, aren't Almost you? Almost done. Yeah, or paper, I mean. But that's a I'm good sorry. idea. I could throw some fabric in here. Hmm. Right, might as well while you're there. Might as well. Get some laces hey. and trims up in there. Right? Some grunge going on. <laughs> so, so Laurel, I'm yes. using um as the base. Yeah, I'm using one of those um, canvas rolls that we we got at uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. That is so. Cool. I I love it. I wish I could have bought a lot more. Now that I see how good it is for this, all those rolls that were like seventy five cents. Yes, I did buy two of them, but 
could have bought more. Said something. I was just at Hobby Lobby and they had some of them there. Yeah, but I didn't know you were going to be there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You got to send somebody... me a message and go, hey, little sis, going to be heading out to that craft store called Hobby Lobby by any chance? I know. <laughs> I wanted to go back today, but I have no money anymore. I ran out. So you have to go to each department, right? It's not just like in the clearance section. Oh my God! I had I walked I walked the entire store because there was just stuff yeah, everywhere. Yeah, you know that it's the only way to find stuff. Yep, is to walk wow. the entire store aisle by aisle. All righty, that's a wheelchair ride for sure, but it'll be worth it. Yes, it oh, will. It goes so bad. My girls said they would go, but uh, you know I want to see it, and you know you want to. Yeah. Look yourself. You want to be able to pick what you like. Yeah. They're pretty good at it or they'll FaceTime me, but you know. Yeah. It's, it's a personal it's thing. Exactly. <laughs> they were telling me, you know, mom, you should get you some new clothes or, you know, buy something nice. I'm like, um, no, I'd rather have craft supplies. Yeah, exactly. You. I'm the same way. <laughs> what do I need new clothes for? <laughs> I work exactly. in a kitchen. I don't need any new clothes. I'm in a kitchen all day. That's overrated. So you're a cook? Well, I'm in a kitchen and on a bus. Put it that way. Oh, okay. Aw, that's I'm awesome, Deborah. You cater for us. We'll pay you. <laughs> I yeah, that's one one thing I have learned is how to cook for a large amount of people. It, that's a good skill to have. I'm telling you what, it's no small feat. My daughter comes home and just amazes me at how many things they make per catering order. Mm -hmm. Oh, your daughter's in catering business? Um. She works for Chick Fil A. Oh yeah. And she got promoted to a manager. That's awesome. She hasn't even graduated yeah. high school yet. Oh no, this is the oldest that works at Chick Fil A. Um, she was headed to nursing when she graduated high school, but when my husband went down two years ago, uh -huh. I can't believe it's going to be two years. Wow. Um, she said, don't worry, dad, I got this. And so she went and got a job and she's going this fall though, to start her program at Grand Canyon university on a full scholarship. I was, they held it for her. It was amazing that how it all just has worked out. Oh, that's sweet. Cause she earned it. She won't have to take a lot of the prereqs because she did that in high school. Right. So she can go straight into the program. Yeah, I can't believe my daughter, she's going to be in middle school next year. And they have this class that's already preparing them for college. Yeah, they do. I'm take. I'm making her take it. Yeah. Well, well that's like Cam my in, in junior high. College. She was already she was in the academy already when she entered junior high. Because in grade mm -hmm. school, her test scores were like off the charts. So they're like, you need to put yeah. them in the program. Uh, she actually recommended that she take it. He's like, yeah, that's I'm awesome. Sure that is awesome. That that is. And she does college prep, and I'm like, hell yeah, sign me up. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's amazing. It's... I know. It's like, gosh, I remember like when I was in when I was in ninth grade and 10th grade, I mean, I had like a 4.0 and stuff and did well and like focus on school and everything. But Deborah wants to know. I'm sorry, Sierra. Go ahead. No, oh, but I remember when I got to be a junior, that's when I started. It was all about boys and. 
nothing else mattered. Yeah. <laughs> right. L- little did we know how much school mattered, you know. Yeah, I know. But, and we, you know, you, know, you, say, you hear your parents, parents tell you, and you're like, if I could only go back, if I knew yeah. then what I know now. It's like, you know? it's like pretty much if you just paid attention and did your did what you're supposed to do you yep. got a scholarship pretty much yep. like that easy if you just did yeah. you know if you did more than just the minimum you know and a lot of right. us just did like the the littlest amount we could just to get by i didn't have a social life but i could yeah. ace the test every time and i frustrated my teachers <laughs> that's that's camberly like- that was both my daughters they don't study i i don't i i, I even didn't. asked my daughter yesterday i'm like cam I have not seen you do homework once this year. Do you do homework? (laughs) Seriously. I know. I said the same Um, thing to my daughter and she's like, mom, what do you think I'm doing in my room? I read. I'm like, oh, so your only homework is reading. She's like, yeah, I do Mm -hmm. everything else in our free, free period. I do it all in study hall. Really? She's like, Mm -hmm. so all we got to do is read. And all you got to do is, like, read for, like, 40 minutes a night. My daughter probably reads for, like, two hours a night. That's crazy. Yeah, with being a homeschooler, my kids didn't get away with the stuff I tried to pull. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Julia Pacheco. Hi, oh, someone baby. has a phone call. Hi, Mom. That is awesome, Jody. I actually, uh... uh Night, Nada. God bless. Thank you for coming and joining us. We were like ignoring the chat. Good night, Nada. Sorry. She, oh, you have llamas, Fonda. Oh. Yeah. Deborah wanted to know who, why we were looking at a keyboard. I said it was oh, because Rose. Rose was doing something. Let me switch to Rose yeah. or Sierra. Sorry, guys. We spaced out. I'm actually going to have to take a break because I need to go take yeah. some medicine. Okay, we'll switch to me. Um, I went back to college, Jody, when I was 50, just to get my, uh, to get my CDA. And I can tell you, (laughs) it was the hardest thing I ever did, but I finished every single assignment and every test with an A to end up with a 4.0 GPA because I'm just a spaz when it comes to stuff like that. I literally was doing homework every single night and on the weekend from the time I got home on Friday till Sunday was doing projects. Mm -hmm. It was hard. But that's awesome that you did it, you know? Yeah, but I learned how to use Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and all that good stuff uh, with a lot of help from my daughter, thank goodness, where I probably wouldn't have made it through. And one of my psychology classes for prereqs for nursing, um, there was a woman who was 64 sitting in class next to me. That is It was inspiring. Yeah. That's awesome. She said it was always her dream and she had never been able to. And it was just so inspiring. Aw, I bet. That's me. I'm all about, you know, what inspires me now. What inspires, uh, inspires, inspires me is crafts. Yes. That's now, awesome, Jody. You went back and did it. That's all that matters. Yeah. I don't ha- I don't even have my bachelor's degree, so I was gonna continue, but it was like my daughter's in her last couple of years of high school and mm-hmm. yeah. I wanted to devote did to devote that time to her. I mean it literally took all my time away. Oh yeah. yeah. So I was like, Yeah, I don't think I wanna do, you know, I don't wanna do more of this. And did I hear you say you were 50? I'll be, I'll, I'm 53. I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I don't. No, you're not. I had Please. an argument with She's another lady like, on here oh, about she, that. She did it. Yep, 53. Mm. Uh, Angela, I have children that are 33 and 30. Ooh, almost my age. I'm a little older than that, but you know. No way. You just look. Wow. You breed them, Fonda. That's awesome. I hear someone saying hi to Brandy. 
Not sure which Brandy's in the house. Let's see. Um, Brandy must be in the house. It just isn't coming up for us yet. It was creation something. Oh, oh, that's who it is. Yes. Hi, Brandy. How are you? That's right. It says it right at the end of her name. I forget. Yeah, I wasn't going to try to pronounce the first part. <laughs> and so I just said Brandy. Canvas craze. Creations. Oh, okay. That was that was easy, wasn't it? I'm a homeschooler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it was very hard, Jody. <laughs> I was a very young mom too. I was 18. Yeah, so was I. And then I had my last at 35. <laughs> Wow. So there's a 12-year span in between. My mother-in-law was 40 when she had my husband. And her, their youngest from the first three was 15 years old. So, yeah. yeah. They yeah, so my, my youngest really is considered, they say after seven years, they're considered an only child. Right. All right, so I'm done with my second one, which is a flat tag for a journal. I didn't make it all crazy, so that's it. Just simple. I like it. It's just got little pieces all over it. I like it. I'm not used to making uh, flat tags <laughs> at all. I'm not used to that. Like, used to dimension, yeah. Yeah, I'm used to dimension and, you know... More is more. Did, I don't think you've right. ever seen this one, Angela. This was my first tag. Now, mind you, it started out a little bit bigger than this. And okay. everybody decided to call it a wall hanging tag because this is what it turned into. Oh, I love it. But look how dimensional oh, it is. There's, there's rolled paper in here that's got, you know, it's like uh, the corrugated. Wow. But yeah, it turned into that, oh, my, my first word. tag. <laughs> it turned into a wall oh, hanging. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I love that. it. But see, it was only that big, and it just kind of grew all the way around. <laughs> Bigger is better. But it's like one of my favorites. That is beautiful. Thank you. So yeah, it hangs right here. And the other beautiful one I made, I sent to uh, one of the girls that entered my the baby shower challenge she got she won my tag so i sent that to her oh yeah i think i missed some of that and i've been trying to go back and rewatch your videos from those entries they were hi happy ray how are you i hey, should just say ray. ray hi ray how are you well maybe she is where did she go hey. oh she's got a toothache Oh, right. Jody has a toothache. No, oh, Sierra. No, she Sierra. said she'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, I'm. Just, oh, too bad, Sierra. Maybe a hot tea bag. Yeah, clothes is good. I heard that, but uh, that would have came in handy years ago when I used to have my uh, toothaches all the time. All right, let's start on this one. Oh, that one's crooked. Let's start on this one. This one's a little smaller. Can't believe oh, you're not asleep, one. Ray. Let's put some glue down. Thank you, Fonda. Yes, it was my first ever tag, and it turned into a wall hanging. And then my second one, I did an all beige, and everyone's like, creams and beiges and it looked very vintage and everyone's like oh my god i love it oh it's court and i'm like really people you didn't love my purple one <laughs> but you know everybody's all about the creams and beiges and the the second one actually turned out really beautiful too yeah per the purple one's gorgeous and the beige one is too i'm sure no honey i don't sorry she didn't realize i was live Are you there, Rose? Yes, I am. How come you're being so quiet? It just feels weird not uh, having the the chat, and so I don't know. It just feels weird. 
You know what? Why don't you come up and come back in, Rose? I did. I don't know right. what happened. what's going well, on. That's okay. Look at the chat, Rose. Go open up another tab. Make yeah, this window that. smaller. Open up another tab. Open up YouTube and go to it, and you'll see the chat. Yeah, but remember that the way that I do it is I do it on my tablet. Okay. I use the right. tablet for the. Use, um, Chrome yeah, but you can just like make that. this window smaller and open up another window and open it up. Yes, okay. yes, I'll Marlene, I am all about the color too. Everything for me is all about color. Like this, I love this, but I'd love it more if it was colorful. <laughs> But I'm trying to learn how to do this, you know, in these subtle, subtle tones. I call them tones. I don't call them colors. I call them subtle tones. <laughs> but it's getting there. I'm getting there. It is a tone, right? It's well, these ladies all call it color, and I call it tone. I say it's a or it's a hue. I call them hues. Like all the creams and beiges, I call them hues. I don't call them colors. <laughs> Because I'm weird like that. It's a nice hue. All right, I need something flat. Let's try this one. I thought I was the only one that used these words. I'm finding out <laughs> that I'm not alone. Nope, you're not alone. It's nice to know. Yeah, I always tell Sierra, I'm like, that's not a color, that's a hue. <laughs> Color is purple and you know and blue Red. and pink. Yeah, and that's color. But the hot pink, light pink, and that's the different hues within that color. Exactly. See, you got it. Yep. You got uh -oh. it. You got it. Uh, Joyce, um, I probably would have done the same thing. I buy everything in purple. I don't care. I don't know how much more purple I can own, but I'm sure there's always something out there I can have. <laughs> My daughter's just in her room singing away. Um, I'd be right back. I for my okay for Valentine's Day, I just spilled um prune juice or tea on my husband's blanket. Prune juice. <laughs> Prune juice. You have to be prune juice. I'll oh my right God. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Brandy. You're all about purple, too. See, there are many purple lovers out there. It's not just me. Although I'm addicted to purple, so it's a little different. Or I'm obsessed with purple, I should say. Not addicted, right? Rose obsessed. You're obsessed, I'm yes, obsessed. because I because I love purple, but you you are obsessed. I am obsessed. I just can't get enough. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. No, there's not. Look at this. I'm just cranking along on these tags tonight. How about that? I'm on tag number three. Love that. How about that? I'm so proud of myself. Woohoo. So Laurel, did you see my, my comment? No. Right Hi, I'm back. Yes. Okay. I wanted to make sure that it's working. <laughs> Hi, Misty. How are you? Um, I finished my chunky charms and I will post a picture of the one, but as you know, I cannot post the picture of the other because I don't want you to see it yet. So I do have two. But I'm only posting picture one. And I know you know there's two because you saw me working on the other one. But I will post the pictures when we're done here tonight. There's a cat dying in the other room. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like, meow, meow. <laughs> like, what is going on? Aw. I'm sorry, Misty. 
Try not to stress too much. It stress not, doesn't help. This coming from someone who stresses herself out like constantly, <laughs> but I'm really good at giving the advice. I'm really good at helping others. I'm just not good at helping myself. Oh, thank you, Fonda. Yep, I, I tr actually tried to make the second one smaller, and for some reason it didn't turn out that way. I just don't know how to do that. Yeah, I know, Misty. It's hard. Can you guys hear that? Well, now she stopped just because I said that. Oh, do you hear it, Rose? Yes. Like, meow, meow. Angela, can you? Oh, she I'm stepped here. away. I'm here, yes. Do you hear the cat going, meow? Yes, meow. I do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fonda. You hear it too, Joyce? <laughs> yeah, she's freaking out about it. Everyone Robin. does. <laughs> She can't find mama or something. Oh, thank you, Marlene. Yeah, I love the big stuff, Marlene. I can't seem to do anything small. I mean, I can do small, but I mean, it's always loaded with tons of stuff. Are you back, Sierra? Mm-hmm. Can we click on you and see how you're doing or no? Sure, but I'm just talking. Okay. My YouTube here won't show. Yeah, it's usually one of the cats, Jody. One's quiet and one's always meowing for mom. Like she's lost or something. We're a lot alike in the crafting, Marlene. That's a, like the next thing I need. Like I noticed you worked with that really big bag and you worked with that really big stick pen. I have to find myself some of those because those are gorgeous. Hi, Yvonne. How are you doing? Yes, Misty, God will bring you through. That is correct. You see Lace. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she, hi, Sierra Misty. Lace. How are you? Sierra playing with Lace right now, too. Making some tags. Did you run out of fabric tag, Sierra? Mm-hmm. You know, you need to go to the dentist and just have that tooth pulled. Oh, you have a toothache? Who yeah. has a toothache? Sierra. No wonder you're talking like that. Yeah, she doesn't want to open her mouth at the moment. Oh, Sierra. I know how that feels. That's terrible. Are you at least trying to craft, Misty, and keep your mind busy or no? I'm very excited, uh, Misty, because your challenge is the first challenge I've actually gotten finished. I actually finished a project. Oh, uh, how about no? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes it's hard when you have a lot on your mind, a lot going on. But lately, this is what I turn to when I get like that, just to free up my mind a little bit. Love this piece right here. All right, I need some more lace here. I need something. What do I need? What do I need? I need something. I need to lay down some more layers under here of something. I need to find my color, my color thing. I my did it, Laurel. I did it. You did it? What'd you do? You got it? On the on my computer now. I have YouTube and and you. <laughs> I don't need my my uh, tablet anymore. Awesome. You should feel special, Misty. Oh. Misty, did you have, was the, I know I left a comment. I didn't get back to read it. I know we were doing, you were doing the uh, 
pocket envelope challenge. And just with everything I have going on right before vacation, I can't do it. But I do want to do some swaps, um, if possible, with a couple people um, when I get back. I already know everything I'm doing. But uh, did you, was it, I know it said something about, was that the one Avril was in? Was yours the one with the craft paper? Because, oh my God, that pocket letter she made was awesome. She's probably like, why are you picking me to talk to? Um, I have, uh, I'm feeling <laughs> terrible and you're asking me a million questions. How many have you finished so far, uh, Sierra? Just hold your fingers up. You don't have to talk. Four. Five. Four? She said five. I'm on you number three. You don't know how to count. I'm on number three. She's on number four. <laughs> yeah, she. I have not seen her work, but oh my goodness, I absolutely loved her pocket letter. Whose pocket letter? Abril Martinez. Oh, she has a channel? She posted it in Misty's group. It's beautiful. Oh, I see. Oh, I think I took a picture of it, but then maybe I didn't because I didn't want to, when I do mine, I didn't want to have any of her stuff in my head, you know, because I don't want to copy anybody. So sometimes I like to get inspiration, but then it's like, do I really want to look at it? Because then it'll feel like I'm copying something. It's okay to call right, you. Good night, Marlene. Thank you for joining us. Um, I will see you tomorrow Bye, morning. Bye, Marlene. Have a good evening. Rose, you are in the group. If you or she says she, she's asking you if you're in her group. If not, she can add you if Who's you would group? like. Misty's. Misty's. I th I think I that I, I was looking for it yesterday, or I did. I think I um. If Happy I Valentine's Day, Marlene. Well, yes, I, I do want to be in your group, uh, Misty. Sierra, what were you shaking your hand at? Was she saying, I'll be right back? And she was like shaking her scissors at me. Like, like oh, wow. Like, see? No, I just sang bye to Marlene. Oh, I'm like, she's like shaking her scissors. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I need something under this. Ooh, again, yes. you need, again, you need. No, this is making my dust so. All these pretty ones that I'm using, um, I purchased from um, Neri from DC Scrap and Rooster from one of her D stashes. They're all so dainty and pretty. I need something bigger than that. Like, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this pom pom trim. I just think it's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this one. This one's a little bit deeper color. Let's try this one. There we go. Let's add this one to here. Where's my scissors? How's that sister doing, Misty? I didn't see an update, although I've been on here, so probably missed something. Good night, Brandy. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye, Brandy. Oh, you you some on the shadow box that she took. <laughs> Yeah, well, you take a lot of her stuff, too. It's a give and take kind of thing, what you do. Oh, my goodness. 
I can't believe Sierra's whipped out five of those already. Although I'm very proud of myself. I'm on number three. I'm lucky if I get one thing done a night here. So I'm feeling accomplished for once. Okay. Uh, go Hi, ahead. Fiona. Is Fiona? It might be behind the chat or what? Hi, Fiona. No, I'm just showing her show up too. No, because you said bite her brandy and, and I didn't see her on here at all. It must have been up higher and I just missed it. Let's see. Um, yeah, she said I have to go as well. Happy Valentine's Day night, everyone. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. That's not good, Misty. All right, so that's that one. Let's find a piece of something else. I need a big piece of something like this. That would be cool on here. Although it's going to get covered up, but it would still be cool on here. I think I'm going to do that. Cut it right next to those windows. I like that. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we're making some uh, kind of fabric tags. Cardboard, fabric, junk journal tags, fabric on top of cardboard. When Sierra gets her mindset on something, she just really starts going to town. That looks kind of cool. I like that. I think I'm going to add that right there. And then I think I'm going to leave that one like that. Because I don't want to take away from that picture. Except I don't want that in there. I want it just around the edges. Misty says that they think that there is some scar tissues by what they've seen, but the heart specialist will know more, and her heart rate fluctuates more than what it should. Huh. That's weird. Scar tissue from what? I'm good, Fiona. How are you doing today? Some of us are doing good. Some of us not so good. Very good, Fiona. Thank you. I want to be able to tuck mm -hmm. something in there. So I only want it on the edges. So I can tuck a little tag in there. I like that. I think I want to add some of this along the top. Like that. Right to there. How's that uh, journal or book coming along that you're working on, Fiona? Were you crafting today? Yeah, don't. Isn't that annoying, Missy, when they can't even figure it out? I like that one just like that. See it, Rose? It's pretty. Oh, that looks, 
That looks very pretty. Very you see pretty. the tree and the house in the picture? Yes, I love it. I do Beautiful. see it. And then I see okay. this is like a little a pocket. That corner looks like a butterfly. Is that like a butterfly? No, it's just a little applique, but it, I'm going to use it as a little. Look, I'm going to use it as a little pocket. Right, but it does look like a butterfly. Looks pretty. I will add some bling or something to it later, a button or something. Right now, I'm just trying to go through and whip through these mm -hmm. uh, cards as Sierra's going, <laughs> killing me over here. Need some little appliques somewhere. Need, need, need. Yep, I do need. I, I said I'm very needy. I know. I'm just a needy person. I think that's too dark. Is that too dark, Rose, do you think? Nope. Okay. Gives it a little bit of a color. <laughs> that's why it's called practicing medicine. <laughs> a lot of testing and guessing. That's exactly right. Oh, sorry, Fiona. Yeah, that's why, uh, Misty, when I go to the doctor, I tell them. I don't wait for them to figure it. Sometimes it takes them a little while and it gets very annoying. And then finally they're like, oh, yeah, that's pro that probably maybe we should do that. Because mm -hmm. I don't wait for them anymore. I tell them what I think they should do and what I think's going on. You know what? I do that too. Because I, I don't want to wait for them to take their slow poke time to do everything. Which is what they seem to enjoy doing. <laughs> like, you know, we got all the time in the world. There's people here that work in the med medical field that probably don't like how you're talking. Well, I'm not talking about them. I know Fonda works in the medical field, but she's in something else. I'm talking about the doctors I deal with. I'm not saying all doctors. I just was saying you should make that clear that you're just talking about, for, you know, your doctor. Not in general. If I'm offending anybody, I'm sorry, but, you know, not all of us have good, uh, I mean, my doctor, doctor I have now is great, but some of the people you deal with, not that they don't know what they're doing, but sometimes they, it does take forever. Yeah, everybody has different experiences. And unfortunately, some doctors aren't as good as the other old other doctors. Fonda says to encourage people. You are right, Laurel. And it's nice. I mean, my doctor I have now, I go in there and I'm like, I think this is what's, and he knows because he's been dealing with me for so long, but it took a while to get, you know, get that one. And, you know, you do usually find a good one. Sometimes it takes a little bit of searching, but, but it's hard when you don't know what's going on and, you know, and they don't know what's going on and it does, it gets kind of frustrating. And, you know, I don't expect all doctors to know all the answers because they don't, you know. Yeah. Fiona says the next Thursday, four hundred and forty dollars for exercise echocardiogram. Then yes, two hundred and eighty on third March, March third for rheumatoid specialist robbing um, a bank. <laughs> yeah, I just had a. I just had when I was in the hospital in December. I had everything done. I had an EKG, a test X-ray, uh, echocardiogram. Uh, CT angiogram, I had all of that done. So I am I know what that's like. It's crazy. Exactly, Fonda. I agree. 
sometimes and, and that's how some of them are there's they've got so many patients that they just want to get you in out in out in out onto the next one that's why i go there with the list and i'm prepared and you know because when you go in there and you don't have the questions to ask that's all the sooner they can get on to the next person so i always go there prepared with what i want to discuss and what i want to talk about and what's going on and and that does help and i think they like that when you have an idea you know when you get there exactly fonda there i added a little little button rose oh that's cute and sierra oh. added three beautiful buttons on hers i don't see hers it's right there how do you not see hers well that's i don't i have to click on her Oh yeah, well click on her and you can see hers. Let me see, Kara. Oh. oh, I found what I'm adding at the bottom. Found it, I found it. Nah, 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 nah. Eh. Well, I had a doctor that I kept asking him questions and kept telling him about my situation and yeah and then he tells me well i would love to keep listening to you but they only give me 15 minutes per 15 minutes per <laughs> patient hi lipa how I'm are like, you i wonder they're always in such a rush yeah exactly hi lipa Did your pill start working yet, Sierra? Not yet. No. I mean, it's, it's helping. Is it that same tooth? Yeah. Yeah, you need to go to the dentist and get. Well, I'm not me. rich. I don't got. Well, I know. It's expensive. But they'll get. They'll give you some kind of a plan. No, they don't. They don't if you already own money. <laughs> Do you have care credit there, Sierra? In Washington? No. Do you know? It's no. this card you can get on and they do give you payment plans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I have that. But when you, it, you know, if you don't have good credit, though, they won't. I don't have good credit, credit and I managed to get it. Yeah. Because that's what I use to pay for my dentist. How are you doing today, Leafa? Okay, Rose, I added another flower. Let's see. How do you like my cut my tag, Sierra? Beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's it's very one. simple. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm just not it's used to it. Well, it doesn't have to be simple. Just keep adding to it. I keep dropping things. Oh, you're doing it too now? Oh. That's because I, you know how I had all my scraps in the box? Now they're all over the place. Yeah, so are mine. Sierra, Fonda said you can't let dental go. It can go to the brain. I yep. know. Your heart Did you hear? Someone in the community on one of the channels, their, who was it? Uh, it's someone we know. Their grandson or somebody just is in the hospital because oh, yeah. yep. they had a toothache and the abscess exploded and they got sepsis. Yeah, that's not anything fun. Everyone seems a little flat. <laughs> All right, and then I got a little tag pocket in the back. Woohoo! I am just cranking along here. I'm excited. I'm excited. Like my brother, my brother says, don't get excited. Don't get excited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bring 
and trying to find something else to add to this. I have this beautiful trim I got from, where did I get this? I'm just going to put that across the bottom there. Um, who did I get this from or did I buy this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ribbon that says imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I get from me. It says imagine, create, okay. believe. Yeah. You got it from me. I can't remember. Oh, I got it from you? Yeah. Thank I actually you, brought that Sierra. Out too. I actually brought that trim out too to put those on. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm so excited for you. Thank you. You guys are like, God, this <laughs> girl is not you. cheating. She just be to it, hun. Huh? Oh, Lipa just said something, but thank you. I'll look into it. Yeah, exactly. Did you see what Fonda said, Sierra? I know you'll listen to her. I said, I, that's what I, I said. Oh. Thanks. So I'll look into it. Or yeah, sorry, you, I, Leafa, I meant Fonda. You'll you'll know instant. Well, Leafa said the same thing, but you will know instantly. They let you know within minutes. Bye, Misty. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. Thank you for popping in and joining us, Misty. I really do hope you feel better. Like I said, I'm here if you need to talk. Bye, Misty. Feel better. Huh? Or, Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Everything. Did you get it all cleaned up? <laughs> um, Lipa, yeah, it's we're Angela, Laurel, Sierra, and me, Rose. Hi, Lipa. Fiona is in the house. Oh, my word. Word to the wise. Um, if your extra crafting table is your bed, and you go live, <laughs> pay attention to where you set your containers with liquid in it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I've done it, <laughs> Angela. Trust me, I work. All my stuff is behind me on my bed, too. So I feel you. Yeah. Me too. If it's my blanket, who cares, right? But my hubby, oh, bless his heart. I mean, you know, that's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> he was gracious. <laughs> All oh, right, I need something else here. Don't okay, know what I'm looking I, for. I have a paper dry that I can show you what I did with the prune juice if you would like. Awesome. I will click on you right now. See, that doesn't look purple at all. Mm -mm. It looks brown. Thank you. Yeah. See, that's the great thing about all that. Like the avocado, it doesn't look green. It looks like a dusty rose. That's why I love I, an avocado dyeing. Now, did you? Yes. Did you? Because I'm seeing rings on there. So I'm going to ask you how you did that. Because I know I saw you soaking on Instagram and you were actually pushing your paper into the water. So how did you get yep. the doily marks on there? I just put the doilies on my paper and then I just layer my papers and I do that. I push it down, okay. and let it soak. And then I will dry on top the extra liquid away and continue to just let it sit and soak and bring up water. And it's a process, but it's how I make it work since I can't stand this mm -hmm. oven. And that looks, it turns out pretty cool. It looks awesome. It looks really um, cool. Fiona wants to know how your hubby yeah. is. Leafa says, looks cute, Ciara, love them. And Fonda says, that's very pretty paper. Yeah, I and discovered it tonight with prune juice. <laughs> is there a certain amount um, that you use? No, I just pour a little bit in enough to cover it. And then I'll put another piece and pour some in. And I guess just enough to cover it. I don't measure. Just the prune juice, you don't di dilute it? I didn't today, no. And I I don't think, I mean, if you want a, a brown, I suppose you could. And I still have some soaking here. Uh-huh. 
but I'll just to see how it all turn out. But yeah, I am. Um, here's another one that's drying, and I'm just experimenting, you know. But now, do you just let them air dry? Um, yeah, if I have room, I do. If not, I sit here and just dry it with my heat tool and watch people's videos that need, the, you know, the minutes. So, use my good old heat tool. Martha's doing me well. <laughs> now, I have two seam rippers, and I just saw them before we went on live. And why is it the minute we go live, they grow legs and I don't see them. Uh, someone asked about hubby. Yes, Fiona. Um, Fiona, he woke up in pretty rough shape, but as the day's gone on, he's gotten a, a little bit better, but um, overall conditions staying about the same. Let's see. I do need to make some tags. How are you, Fiona? She said 5.5 .5 hours of doctor's appointment, so she's oh. exhausted. Oh, my word. Yeah, that would be... You know, uh, Fonda loves avocado dyeing fabric and lace, mushroom pink. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet, and I still want to try it, but I just hate wasting the avocados because I don't need avocado, but I do want to try it. I am going to take a weekend and just dye stuff. Well, I know... Uh, who was it? Joeen uh, Butterball, however you say her name. I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm probably butchering it. But uh, she did a fabric envelope and she it was all in these beautiful pinks and purples and blues and greens. And she said she used which I was thinking about that last year trying that she used uh, Easter egg mm -hmm. dye. Oh, yeah. That stuff is awesome. Laurel. Yes. Does, does your sister Michelle uh, like avocados? No. Oh. No. Nobody in this house eats avocados. <laughs> wow. That's very strange. We all, we all kind of have the same tastes and the kind, same kind of dislikes when it comes to food, which is so maybe it's just from being around each other for so long. I don't know. Your mom doesn't like them either? Um, I do not know. I've never seen her eat an avocado, so I can't say for sure. What I do with my tags? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Can, I, can you hold that up to the camera? Or is it sitting on paper right now making the print? Oh, no. My stamp? That is a beautiful uh, stamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love this stamp. That's so great. I like and I love that. On tags and envelopes. And all Can you show stuff. me that fold you were just unfolding and refolding? I want to see how you did that. Oh, it's just the envelope. I take it um, apart so it doesn't tear when I'm uh, tea dyeing it. Oh, okay. And then just put it back together. And then I'll cut off whatever if I want to make tuck spot out of it or depending on what I'm going to use it for. I don't know. Kind of a quick way I learned to make it work in a journal. Like if I put it underneath, let me show you. For example, I'm still working on this for my daughter. She, she'll she get it when she gets married, I suppose. <laughs> yep, I hear you. Today. But, um... You know, I can wrap it like that. And if I want to leave one side open for a tuck. There you go. Then I'll just cut this side off and have. That's awesome. Top and bottom or whatever. Like a lot. So I need to. I need to quit making ephemera and just get these things done already. I have too many irons in the fire. I need to I need to make ephemera <laughs> is what I need to do. Start making some ephemera. Oh, I get stuck on ephemera. 
I love it. I'm trying to find yeah. a tag so that I can Sarah. make a template. <laughs> does she do ephemera? Oh, yeah. Is she back yet? Yeah, she's there. Sierra, can we see your uh, tags you've made so far? Sure. Is her tooth okay? Are you okay, Sierra? Oh, I'll live. Uh, oh. So this oh, thing. Oh, look at the buttons. Oh. Fonda wants. Fonda wants to know where you hey. got that stamp from, Angela. Please. Oh mercy! Where did I get this from? Eek. Oh, love all the buttons. That is beautiful. Oh. I think somebody sent it to me in a rack in my first year on YouTube. Um, oh, Pam, the one and the only grand. One. I love the half doily. That one's beautiful oh, too. Wow. Love tags. Oh, I love the little ones. Look at those buttons. That is really cute the way yeah. you did that. Oh. Yeah, That's so cool, Sierra. Thank you. Does it say on the stamp like who it's by? It's beautiful. Angela? Um, uh, yeah, it is Stampendous. Stampendous. Rose corset. P as in Paul. Sierra Lipa says it looks great. And Fonda says, Sierra, I need yeah. those tags, please. Yes. <laughs> she makes beautiful tags. Did you hear me, Sierra? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, sweetie, you sound so miserable. I hate toothaches. Rose is working is on infected? a snippet roll. How's the snippet roll coming, Rose? Coming along. All right, we're going to click on you so you can show us. All right, Fiona, hurry back. Okay, Fiona. Okay. So this is the, the start. And here I am. There you go, right there. Oh, wow. That is pretty. That looks like awesome, Rose. Yeah. Long. <laughs> yeah, it's long, that's for sure. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm covering up all the uh, empty spaces. That's what I need to do with my scraps. Has anybody ever tried a paper one? Did I hear one of you mention that one night? Is a paper what? Snippet roll. Oh, th there's a, a very old uh, video. Really? Oh, there is? On snippet okay. rolls. On paper snippet rolls. Uh-huh. Well, uh, i to have to just look it up. Let's see. Because I have a ton of paper scraps that I need to do something other than junk journals with. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, make paper tags in fact I think I was watching it this morning but I, I am really yeah. bad with remembering yeah. the names I am too the people who you know do their videos I need to I need to start writing them down mm -hmm. so that I can I need to save mention it to you guys But you do you make it the it. same way as you make a, a fabric one. Ah. Concept. Uh oh. Now my daughter's in there singing Queen. <laughs> Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo. I love it. I love that song. Boy, nobody loves me. Boy, from a poor family. 
and I can't see. Sing. Really, Leafa. I'm going to have to go check that out now. Thank you, Fonda. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Yeah, some mush has a devil put aside for me. For me. For me. <laughs> I warned you guys I can't That's sing. not Sierra. That's not Sierra. I don't think Sierra can do that right now. What? The whistling? No, that's me. Sorry. And I always break her ears when I do it. And I always forget <laughs> that it's really loud. Doesn't bother me. No, it bothers Sierra. <laughs> so what about when she whistles? She doesn't whistle. No? All this time I thought it was her that whistled. No, it's me. Oh. Um, Deborah, she took some naproxen, so that's why she's kind of in la-la land. Are you okay over there, Sierra? Yeah. Yep. Are you sure? Yeah. Just battling through it? Or a gel helps also. No, or gel doesn't do diddly squat. Well, <laughs> no. maybe I'm no, strong people. enough. Me, when, when I have a migraine or a toothache, I go straight for the big stuff. I go straight for the... Uh, ibuprofen or Tylenol codeine. <laughs> Go right to the good. Although that doesn't help a toothache pain, it helps other pain though. But it helps my migraines. Right. But nothing usually helps the toothache. Nope. Especially if it needs to be taken out, pulled yep. up. So this would be fun to see how I freehand a tag. I can't cut a straight line to save. Yeah, I just tried to do it too, Angela. So we're going to. Welcome to the club, Angela. See how well okay. I can do. Oh, uh, mercy. I might end up with something like your first tag, which is beautiful. But I'm saying in that large. <laughs> which I love any size of tag. I am a tagaholic. Me too. I love making tags. Sierra, if you want to go, we will understand. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Sierra. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah Judy. That, it's true. They say that uh, cloves do help a lot. So what do you do? Bite on the clove? I mean, how, how do you, um, how do you, yeah, you put it in your, I usually do it underneath a hot. Really? Mm -hmm. I wish I would have known that years really ago when I had all the two things that I had. It. Yeah, it depends on how infected it is. Or if you put heat on a severely infected tooth, that's what sends it to your bloodstream quicker. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. There's nothing worse than a toothache. No, there. I agree. Mm -hmm. I would pick childbirth over a toothache. Okay, so Judy says yes. you put it in the plaque that hurts, but trust me when I tell you it burns. But it works. That's true. Yeah. Fiona says, back feet elevated. I'm set now. There you go. <laughs> Under okay. air conditioner. There you go. 
So Judy says that, but then it takes the pain away for hours. Yeah, so the burn is worth it. Maybe try some cloves, Sierra. Yeah, don't worry about also, it. Also rinsing your mouth with peroxide. You'll be fine? Yeah. No, it's like, I'll be fine. Stop together. bugging me. <laughs> We're just trying to help. I am. But, but I'll you. talk to y'all later. All right. Bye, Sierra. I hope it goes away right. soon, honey. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. I'll be praying. I love you, ladies. Good night. Love you too. Good night. Good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, no, that's too bad. That is the worst pain. Yeah. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, I'm not a fan of toothache pain. <sighs> Copy that one. She went from queen to somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> my, I don't know what's up with my child. <laughs> like variety. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, one of my Cute little flowers dropped into the soup. <laughs> oh, take it out and wash it off. Maybe it's a cool color. <laughs> you never know. You know you're addicted to crafting when you <laughs> even my scraps are hungry. Save it. <laughs> right. Right. That's right, Angela. <laughs> oh, maybe you don't is. care about the food. I'm like, the lasagna dropped, but is my flour okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where you? All right. What, what cool shape can I make out of this? Like, actually, I'm just going to put that whole piece down underneath. Because I like that. Pattern. Well, Lifa, Sierra's gone. I know, Leafa, we're concerned about her. Laurel was telling her she needed to go get taken care of. I believe she. Yeah, I learned about Laurel, that at a go? very young age because uh, all my teeth, after I had kids, I mean, until I had kids, I never had a cavity or anything, but I was so small, such a tiny person when I got pregnant. My doctor said that the ki my kids just sucked all the calcium right out of my body oh. and just wrecked my teeth and uh all my teeth every time i would uh, i would get a cavity it would just instantly abscess and my whole face would swell up <coughs> so oh, i learned gosh. about that very quickly and didn't waste any time getting it taken care of because it was just like that's not something you want to mess around with at all no I mean, I know it's expensive, but sometimes you gotta. You just have. It's to hard when you don't, because I suffered through a lot of toothaches for a while because it it is. I I don't know where they come up with their prices for stuff today. How they expect people to I afford know. or do anything, you know, it's crazy. Dental care is a whole another ball game. Yep. Ridiculous. Yeah, I never had any problems until I got really sick and had to start taking a lot of medication. Yep. That's that's even like with glasses too, you know. Mm -hmm. Those suckers aren't cheap and you know, I wear progressives and they certainly aren't cheap. And it's like and first of all, they never get it right every time I go there. I got to go there five and six times and they're still never right that I finally get to the point and I'm like, just whatever, just give me whatever right. you made last, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then by six months later, I need new glasses. Oh, that's terrible, Fiona. I, I can't even imagine. 
and they are the worst. I have suffered through some, like I said, I'd rather give birth than to have a toothache any day. Just not something I want to mess with. No. You can't think, you can't do anything. Right, exactly. You can't think or anything when you have a toothache. That is correct. Because all you can concentrate on is that pain and you just don't know where it's coming from, but it radiates everywhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And not to bring down the mood, but did anybody hear about that shooting in Florida today? Yes. Lord, yes. I was like, uh, what is going on with these kids today? Seriously. I so said just to my husband, I said, in our day, fire drills. Now it's shooting drills. Right. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Bad. I wonder how hard it's going to be to get this uh, staining off my fingers. <laughs> you know, with being homebound most of the time, I don't care what my hands look like. And then the church and I went to rain to get my praise on and I realized I had almost a different color on every hand and I looked like I had been digging oh my, my goodness <laughs> <laughs> Fiona we had a horrible school shooting in Florida today that last count I heard 17 had perished yes and yes. 14 in the hospitals yeah, surgery, and they didn't know how they were going to do it. it just, they did capture the guy, the young man, 19 years old. He used to attend that school. Yeah. Why is a former student, you know, I don't understand. Angry over something. Did you tell him nobody's home? I can't say much office? about this. Rose? But I'm sorry. Was that your phone? Oh, I'm sorry. My husband. Sorry. That's okay. I was going to say, did you tell him nobody's home? <laughs> I don't know what he told him. <laughs> nobody's nobody's home. home. What do you want? He doesn't like answering his phone. I said, well, what's the point of having it then? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Man. That's exactly right. <laughs> so my daughter went for her checkup today. Um, all is good. Everything's going along. Good. Baby's doing good. good. They say she's, let's see, what did they say? Because I told her to send me a message as soon as she found out. When do you go? Um, I leave on the third. Oh, wow. So she'll be 37 weeks tomorrow. So she said, baby is about 6.9 pounds. <laughs> I'm, oh, like, wow. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, you were 6'4". Cam was seven something. And my son was the biggest. He was eight pounds, four ounces. Now, mind you, when I got pregnant, I weighed 98 pounds. So I was teeny tiny. Oh my, word. my daughter is 4'11". She probably, when she got pregnant, she was probably at 110, if that. She is a tiny person, and the doctor is saying that they are estimating the baby will be between 7.5 and 8 pounds. Oof. And I'm like, what? And she's like, well, that's average. And I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to keep talking about it because I don't want to you know, put anything on her mind. And I'm like, what average right. for an average size person, you're a tiny little person. <laughs> so, well, I'm glad I stopped at three because each, each child that I had weighed more and more. 
my third one was our tiniest. Oh, you were lucky. My last um, one was 10 pounds. Oh, itchy wowie. Oh my goodness. And that and was also I was very no tiny. Fun. And also I was very small, petite. 10 pounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't have a 10 pound baby, Rose. <laughs> no, there's I no way. Dying well, when, when she came out, they said the doctors said, piece of cake. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, not for me. Um, I'm lucky I got the ones out that I did have. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have a niece that's very petite, but man, she pushes out big ones like nothing. I'm like, man, how'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I could barely, I'm lucky I got out the children I did. I am too, just because of other issues, but yeah. So Laurel. Yes. I found, I found a little piece of um, brick rack in yeah. my scraps, and look, I made a little flower, <laughs> I made a little flower. Hold it up. Back it's up. very oh. small. It's, it's, like a bud. it's more like a pud, like a bud. Pull your, there you go. Angie would be Aww. proud of you. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> Looks Aww. like an Easter egg. <laughs> Aww. It's really Joyce, small. I was only like probably five feet when I had my kids. I've grown a little bit, but I don't know how, but I'm actually shrinking now again, I think. Well, they say that when you get older, you start shrinking. Exactly. You just, you, you got to tell them, Deborah. I told my dentist, I'm like, you know what, do, like root canals, I'm like, they are not guaranteed. I said, pull the tooth because no, I'm not fail. paying for it. And then a year later, you're going to pull my tooth anyway. I'm like, just pull mm -hmm. it out. Get it out. Get rid of it. We finally met a good dentist that told us the truth. He said they end up failing. Yes. So they do. We need to pull it and put in instead of a false like instead of getting false teeth, he came up with something that in fact he had one. It wasn't an implant, but I forgot what he called it. Anyway, it worked just as good, but it's so expensive. Yeah, I have I have a it's called a partial where it snaps uh -huh. in around your other teeth, but there are ones that they can do where they can actually put implants in or they can do one with magnets. There's all different kinds of stuff they can do. Right. I just say pull the sucker. Get me out of pain. <laughs> right. Exactly. My doctor said, what are you going to do when you don't have any teeth left? I said, well, eat mashed potatoes. Dentures. Right, exactly. Yeah. We have a friend who is a dentist and um, he lives in another state, but he told me, he said, you know, you get that taken care of, come down here and I will do your dentures. So. Hopefully that can happen soon. You know, I could see if I was 20, you know, or I had somebody to impress and I don't have either. So, you know, I'm not either. So, you know, <laughs> All right. I mean, my teeth are important to me, but, you know, you do what you got to do sometimes. Yep. I told my husband, go back to the hospital. There's more of me there than there is here at home. Oh, I left everything <laughs> behind with the doctors. <laughs> yeah, Judy, but they make partials and everything now that are not that expensive. And like I said, if you get on care credit, like a partial is runs 800 to 1200. And yes, that sounds like yeah. a lot, but you can make payments on it. You can mm -hmm. work out not a yearly here. plan where you pay a certain amount every month. There's no interest or anything and you pay it monthly, you know? Yeah. We, oh, we didn't qualify for that. Oh, implants are so much more. Yeah. I can't, I can't even, there's no way I could, like I went to see one guy and he was so, I just could not, I, I can't believe people sometimes. And it was like $13,000. And I'm like, $13,000. I'm like, yeah. are you aware? I only make 20,000 a year <laughs> of a child. Right. And he's like, you know, 
I started out, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't care how you started out. He's like, you drive a car, don't you? I said, yeah, a used car that I paid less than a thousand dollars for, you know? Right. <laughs> right. But he was just so nasty. It was like, excuse me. Oh, I know. Yeah. Sometimes it can and be I'm like, very you're just cold. A dentist. You're not a heart doctor. You're a dentist. Exactly. I'm not trying to put him down, but you know what I mean? It's like, come on. Yes. You're not a specialist. Can I do something for you, ma'am? No. no? I'm just going to say that. Oh, I love this well. stencil. What is up with you guys? Love it. <laughs> look, at, look at this thick um, uh, Rick Rack. Okay, guys, we have to settle a debate here. No. So my daughter just came in. Mind you, she uh -huh. is 18 years young. She goes okay. to school. That's it. She took a four-hour nap today. And you know what her excuse was? We are teenagers. Oh, tiring. She says school is tiring. <laughs> um, at 18, I'm lucky if I ever slept. <laughs> at 18, I was married and had a kid and had a second one on the way. Right, exactly. I already had a kid at 18. There was no sleeping. What am I saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's not her fault. <laughs> no, I know, but... I don't understand how she could be so tired all the time. Listen to Rose. She's throwing us under the bus. Come on. We got to stick around. Yeah. I didn't tell you to wake up. But I don't know why either. That's the how teenagers are. Get ready. I know. I went through it three times. Take a shower and everything. It takes a lot of work to look good to go to school and go, mm, girlfriend. Gotta well, she doesn't wear makeup or anything. She just, she has long hair, so she, when she gets up and takes a shower in the morning, she has to dry and straighten her hair. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's kind of, that's. Oh my goodness, $7,000 ever, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, yeah, Judy, right have now. a good night. Thank you for coming night, and joining Judy. us. Bye, Judy. Have a good evening. All right, I'm going to show you my little tags. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Look at, I made an itty bitty tag. Oh, <laughs> so cutie. It's just simple, but it's cute. I like cutie patootie. It. It's just an itty bitty oh. tag. You got to put a little pocket on the back That's here. Pretty. Can't use that what one. do you do for your pocket? Just like attach? Yeah, I just use a piece stuff? of trim like this. Just enough oh, to okay. slide something in there. Mm-hmm. Could do a I corner think one too. Hobby Lobby again and see if I can find some more of these little. No, you know there is no Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. What? Hobby, Hobby Lobby's closed. It's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. They'll open for me. Open They'll the say, door. "Here comes Rose. Open those doors." <laughs> Open it, or I'll open it for you. Yes. Yeah, I would. I would like to just catch one that hasn't done their inventory yet. Just one. Well, uh, I don't know how, when how pe people found so many like punches and dots. Yeah, exactly. I didn't see I any didn't of find that. Any of that. Me either. So that's why I have to go back because every day, it seems that every day they change it around. They, Well, yeah, they're doing all their planograms. And so, I mean, they're exactly. still looking down stuff in different parts of the store. So you can go walk through the store and you'll see all the stuff that says D, 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 D on it. So, you know, they haven't done their planogram yet for that department. Even if they, they have in that department, it's not like they've marked down everything. That, that's, that's what it. I mean. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like the uh, the paper, the, the stacks of uh, stock paper. It's the same thing. I've been twice, and every time I go, it's different, different stacks that are marked down. Like maybe today. Oh, I found some more gorgeous ones the other day, Rose, for $5. And I'm like, how much paper do I need? I haven't even started one journal yet. <laughs> Well, you know, I use my paper for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So, 
All right, so let's see all my tags that I've got done. One, two, three. I am feeling accomplished today. Right on. <laughs> Look at that. Good. I got three baby, three mamas and a baby. This is daddy tag here. That's These cute. Are That's These so are mama pretty. Tags, and this is baby tag. I know. Love it. I got a lot of tags done. I like this one. It's kind of cool. This it's isn't so much a junk journal tag. This is just more of a regular tag. <laughs> These are more junk journal tags. because They're flat. I got to put a pocket on well, the back. The big one, one is like yeah. something you would hang, want to hang. Right. That's what I said. It's just a regular. You, you should get hang tag. it on a little uh, hanger. Good idea. Hang it on a they, little they, hanger. They, they have those also marked down the, from from um, Tim Holtz. Those wire hangers. I think I'll give this one away Friday in our in our Friday fun night. Ooh, that will be fun. As soon as I cover the back. <laughs> 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 soon as I cover that up <laughs> do it today do it now yeah well I will I like right because you know what will happen Rose Friday will come and it'll still look like that oh I haven't finished it <laughs> yes let's you know what Rose you are right let's just get that done right now right this minute so see all that sewing I did you don't even see it see why bother? Just glue sewing it. is more for like paper. Exactly. You when they're gonna paper. when you're gonna see all the sewing. Right, exactly. So so Laurel, I was telling you, see this brick rack? Yes. Huge brick rack. <laughs> yeah, that's way too far apart. I found it here in my box. I gotta figure out how to get this. This little out box is full of surprises. I'm I'm sure it is. <laughs> so what's your next kit gonna be, Rose? I'm not saying. It's a secret. Oh, I know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a little early. Today. I might change my mind. No, you are not changing your mind. <laughs> Okay, it's got to be good then. Well, of course I know it would be good. I hope it, it will be to, good. Woo. Trying to pick your brain. Yes, I am. Uh, working very hard at it. Oh, no. All I can say is that I can add you to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Just a permanent Funny. list, you know? <laughs> I had faith. I'm like, yo, that I'm last just kit kidding. was. That's just kidding, Angela. No, that last kit was awesome. By the time I got around to seeing if I could get it, they were gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why this next Here one I go. was like, hey, put me down. <laughs> okay. okay. Look. Yay! <laughs> now we can add a pocket to it. Lifa says, Laurel, you are learning to craft and gab at the same time. I oh. am, Lifa. I'm getting good at it, aren't I? Sometimes I forget and I just start gabbing and gabbing and I get no crafting done. But I'm actually doing really good tonight with the crafting and gabbing. <laughs> I've actually got, I feel accomplished today. It's amazing. Thank you, Lifa. Good feeling. I do. I feel very accomplished today because I didn't just sit here and stare at the chat and talk. I'm reading the chat as I'm crafting. I hit a block. I think that prune juice did something. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, I have to get my dex cards done. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Oh, Laurel. Yes. Where does it say? Is there it where where everyone has partners? 
for for Angela's. Um, yeah, the coffee and tea. The partners are posted. Your partner didn't contact no, no. you yet. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but don't don't they announce it like so that you can go check who your partner is? No, usually your partner will contact you. She just puts it oh, in the I challenge. See, okay. She puts a list in there, so you might want to go check the list. Rose. Yeah, I already did. I was just oh, asking. Okay. I was just I asking. Before you do that, how do you know when? To I, go? I don't know how she does it. She doesn't like. She doesn't do anyway. it like we do it in Flare by Me. She doesn't do it like that. Uh -huh. Anyway, she already contacted me. Oh, okay. Who's your and, partner? And it's Angela. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. That's so awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh! I'm like, I'm so nervous. I've never made one before. I'm like you. <laughs> oh, you will. I'm sure you will do great, Rose. Trust me. Uh, all right so i guess we're done for tonight i finished one two three four tags i'm very awesome. proud of myself very good very good, very good. all done ladies sorry my desk yes, is a mess i kind of crammed together because i worked myself into a corner but I think we are done for tonight. Thank you all for joining us. And this big daddy tag, um, I will be uh, giving away during Friday night's uh, show to somebody. Yay. Because as pretty as it is, you guys know that it won't hang in my room because it's not purple. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's got to go somewhere. <laughs> go um, somewhere. And it's not really one for, uh, it's not really one for, uh, junk journal so someone can use it for a fabric book or whatever they want to do with it but beautiful so we'll give that away on friday so thank you thank all you. for joining us tonight um i appreciate all of you coming um sorry sierra couldn't stay with us i hope she's feeling better i will talk to her tomorrow to find out um you're welcome yvonne thank you for joining us so hopefully we will see you all on friday for friday fun night because you know that one's always a hoot. So um, I'm ready for some, uh, by Friday, I'm usually ready for some giggles and some fun. So yeah. um, I'm not quite sure what we'll be doing yet on Friday. I will try and have a Friday uh, fun tip or five minute quick tip or whatever you want to call it for you guys. Um, happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And we will see you all soon. And remember, don't forget to get out there and create something. All right. Thank talk to you all later. Say bye, ladies. Bye. Thank you, Angela. Uh, Rose and Angela, don't go anywhere. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Angela. Angela. Thank you, Rose. And thank you, Sierra, for joining me tonight. Thank you for having us. Did you both say goodbye? Yes, I did. Bye, ladies. I said goodnight, ladies. Thank you. Okay.